Hallo en welkom in Zurk. Wie gaat het Allen? Hallo en welkom back everyone. Hope you're all doing well. And I'm sorry to any Germans that might be listening. I've just butchered your beautiful language. And actually, I do mean that. I do like the German. I do like how German sort of sounds. This, I don't know. It's sort of musical, I sort of think, and in a non sing songy way. Anyway, ignoring all of that. Welcome back, welcome back. So the reason why I started that off, I had to, for some unusual reason, I had to look through the people who are watching this. And 6% of my um, audience are from Germany. So, welcome. I unfortunately cannot speak German, as you have just found out. I have butchered my way through that. And I promise I won't do it again. Anyway, welcome back to this episode. So, I'm just finishing up the evening, making sure everything is nice, clean and ready. And hopefully, in the morning, everything should be ready to be assigned, having done the schedule yesterday. Well, I say yesterday, in the last episode, today, for tomorrow. I hope some of that made sense. It probably didn't. But we have a schedule. Yeah, I came in here and I made my schedule. So this is all sort of left over from today. And then tomorrow, if we can move it forward, Everything should be assigned, so I won't have to go through and manually assign all of these routes. I do, however, think we are going to be encountering a problem. Could I have played ahead a little bit? I think we might have a few scheduling conflicts. So you know how every single morning, Nuffield Hospital rings up and goes, We would like to change the schedule for tomorrow. And then add in new routes, take routes off, change the timetable and stuff. The arena is dreadful for this, like every few days, like, bump, another one. With the community hospital, bump, again, yesterday, today, every couple of days. And in doing so, I think that's going to be messing up our schedule. So, I'm going to see how things go through today and then into tomorrow. Well, I can see how things go through tomorrow, I suppose I should say. We've still got half an hour of today. And then, seeing how things go there, I will um, potentially have to think about a new way of organising things. And I think I might have come up with one small plan that could work quite nicely. And that is, just, I have to start from fresh, but if I put all the... Um, all the, what am I say? All my contract routes, all those ones that I'm running for the council, all those tours on certain buses, and then all the P, all the Pennsylvania routes, all the hospital routes, all the A's, all the university ones on different buses. That way, hopefully, there won't be any scheduling conflicts between the two. So I'll only ever have to reschedule the buses on like the Nuff and the Whip and the BCAR and those ones and the Lux. And then I will just make sure that I have a, enough intercity LEs left over that I can assign all those routes onto onto one of these. I think that will help. So let's keep going through, set, checking everything out. Making everything. We're going to speed things up to two. At this point in the game, well, we're getting further into the game now. We have quite a few quite a few buses going around, quite a few routes, like there's a lot of stuff going off. I'm sure this bus must be going into the bus wash soon. A bus wash. I think I, th I think I told you to go get washed. I thought I sent to get painted. I'm sending him to the paint shop now. So that he can all be painted up. Today's job is going to be getting all my DLO5s up and ready to go. We should have a good th I think it's three of them at the moment, or a few more than that. Yeah, we've got four of them. Yeah, so we need to get them all painted up, ready to go, and then get them onto a route. So there we go. Another bus painted up in our livery, and we can just get 
the last few of these all sorted out. Because some of these are coming back in quite grubby and needing a good wash. Or you need a lot of fixing. We can't send you out without all of those things, even with your route assigned to first thing in the morning. So, about to be driven to the workshop. Off you go. That'll bring him back nice. Get a bit of fuel in you. Your tyres are good. I think I've checked that several times. The trouble is when there's so many buses here, it's really hard. It's really hard to get them all organised in an effective way. What would be nice is when you do the scheduling in here, maybe I should make this recommendation if they want to, is have like secondary, but not routes assigning, but at the bottom have take bus to bus wash on the return, take bus to fueling, send cleaner on its return sort of thing, so they'll all pop up along the bottom. But, okay, when these last few buses finish their moving around, we will time jump through the morning get everything out like I could see about getting more of these buses cleaned up but we're gonna just time jump a little bit there we go 3.39 in the morning and we have the first lot of buses ready to go okay and we can time jump again as we don't have to sign them we can just move ourselves to 3.44 and then guess what? We can go again! Look at that! Three time jumps in a row. It's not even four in the morning. I suppose they might as well keep coming through here. Getting these buses ready to go. Yeah, you need some fuel. It's just keeping on top of this is the hard bit. No free gas station. Yeah, there we go. So we should currently have that all assigned. The other thing that I have now worked out through a bit of trial and error is if we come in here to our, not bus route, not that, we have to research, that is the one. So I'll get these researching because they just seem like good things to start researching. If we come down here a bit further, and I think we're after, what's this one here? Oh, we'll reduce replacement parts. We've got a lot of buses that'll save us some money. So over here, replace when we when we do our upgrades, I had thought we were just going out in donuts. This didn't really matter because it's each one grows with each thing. But no, it's not like that. I can only expand ten times, so I can get ten blips north or ten blips east or ten ten blips south. It's not ten individually. It's like ten total. So if I did three going north, I could then do three going east, two south two west and that would be my 10 used up all gone or I could go nine north one east all used up it'd be nice to know how many I have put on each currently I've done one of each of those I think um, I am going to be heading north because the thing is that I want to do going north but it's also I think I've worked out if I go north maybe three or four times then if I go east, it'll take the whole eastern edge of that extended map out. So if I click on here, maybe that'll be easier for me to talk about. So if we scroll all the way out, sort of thing. So if I keep exp extending north, up, 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 up. So if I go up and it's twice as high north, as it, twice as far north as it currently is, this eastern edge here will be twice as long. So when I take out that blip, East, it'll um, be twice as big. I think that's how it works. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that's the plan for now. We're going to do that. Then the other thing that I want to do is add in a few more routes, quite possibly. So I think what I went through last time, I worked out I had a few spare buses. And I have a few places that I want to go. But do we have any more of uh, these routes? We've got Eid. And we have Nad Nadder Water. Great name. We'll bring in the Eid one. So this is 192 tours per week at 200 
and 220 euros and 56 cents each, which will give us 52,350, which is a nice, a nice little bit of money. What do they want? Connect 1,600 buildings, 54 points of interest, at least eight bus stops, Monday to Friday, every hour, uh, Saturday and Sunday, every 30 minutes. So that they want a more frequent weekend service. Cool. I'm sure we can do that. So where is E? It's not somewhere that I really know. I think it's out here. It is E, I, E, I, Id, Id, Ide. I don't know how you pronounce it. Ide. So we can call this one the the Ide. There we go. And while it's out here, of course, as you well well know, it's not going to be where I start my route, is it? That's not even a bus stop there. Why would you pop him there? Silly sausage. No, we're starting all the way up here, obviously, on Cheek Street. And... Um... And then just down the high street as usual, isn't it? And then we're going to come... Out through the Riverside Leisure Centre, wherever it is. No, I'm not going to stop there. It's a bit of an awkward one. We'll stop just down at Homecliffe's House. Then is that St Andrew's Church. Crawford Gardens. Stone Lane Retail Park. Sainsbury's, because everyone likes to stop at Sainsbury's. And we'll just stop out over here at Cross. And come all the way out into E, and then we're going to turn around on this estate over here, and then back the way we came. So St Ida is where we're going to have our timing point at the end, so community shop, cross, Sainsbury's, Stone Lane Retail Park, Wherever that was, Crawford, St Andrew's Church. Then we're going to stop at the Riverside Leisure Centre. And then come back up 4th Street, onto the High Street, and around to Cheek Street. So we needed 1600, we have 33. That's nice, we doubled it. Uh, we needed 54 points of interest, we have 340. That's nice. We're looking at nearly seven times there. And then we have 23 stops, not the 8. So if we go tick it on there. And we will go straight into our advanced settings. So rush hours every 30 minutes. How long is this route taking us? 34. So we might as well wait quite a bit here. We'll add 13 whole minutes waiting. So we should be keeping him on time nice and easy. And we have 13 back at the other end. So that's our Monday to Friday. And then on the Saturday, where St. Eda, there it is. We'll add another 13 minutes onto here. There we go. So that'll, that'll require two buses onto it. We can just confirm on there. Come back into here. I think we had, well, so on the Tuesday, we'll have a morning one, that's at 3.55, and you can take the afternoon one, and again we'll assign the drivers. Flossy Klaus, you can take that one, and then Donny Richard to take the afternoon. Do we have, there we go, so you can take the morning. Nice and easy one for you, whoever gets this route. If you only have to deal with the rush hour rush. So more, and then you can take an afternoon one. Easy. Do we have a driver? I do not think we have a driver free for you. So let's take you off there for a second. I'll come back and sort you in a moment. We will hire another driver or two. 
So we'll take Amina. Nice. Welcome to the team. Carolyn, you're not very reliable, but we'll take you anyway. And if we come back into here, are these still in the order? There it is, the Eid. You can take that one. And hopefully, uh, you are fairly reliable. We'll give you, because you're unreliable, Car Caroline Petty. Now, who do we have here? We have a bus driver. Hi, I'm really happy to be working for you. So much fun. That is good to hear, Sanders. Happy to have you. So, Whipton Hospital is changing its um, thing again. So, starting from tomorrow, what do they want? A driving interval of every 30 minutes, not on every hour. And the same for the rush. Extra arena. So, the current rush interval is every 50 minutes, new is every 10 minutes. So, that probably means today is fine. If we copy that. Oh, we're growing our area of operation. Okay, so back to this again after that area of expansion. So we're going to copy today's the day schedule. And I'm just going to try and paste that into tomorrow. But I don't think it's worked. I think what's happened is a lot of these buses have all got... Why have we got so many? I don't understand how it works sometimes, this. But what I can do is I'll just come through and go, okay, you finish at four o'clock. If I look at a, a late one, do we have a route that goes out after four? So I could give you a Pennsylvania. And I can give you an, an, an oil can drive. I just have to go through and reassign like this. What I'm going to do, when, when, when I'm doing this, what I'm going to try and do now is only assign contracted routes. So the X is a contract route, all on the same, all on the same buses, and then put all the non-contract ones on the same buses. So I can then give you a what time do you finish there? An RA and X too soon. Give you the uh, the evening. The evening e day. We'll just carry on like that. So we'll be back when that's all done.
Okay, so yep, Exeter Arena starting an hour earlier and half hour intervals, and 20 at rush hour, Nuffield Hospital. Uh, not much has changed with it every half an hour at rush hour now. And was it? Oh, you're unhappy. My family, your family's complaining. Well, you never go home. Okay, so that should have got most of our buses sorted out. And hopefully, well, and that bus driver was complaining. We'll get a few more staff in. We'll probably need them coming up. 49. Let's see if we have a couple more in here who are any good. Anther? And the Venic. Yep. Oh, we need to get a bigger office if we want any more. I assume we probably will do in a moment. But while we're going through here, let's just have a quick look, see if anything needs fixing. Get your wiper sorted. Do you need anything other than a clean? I think I've checked you a million times with your technical thing. But we will keep checking. Are you all good? Yes, you are. Right, we'll give you another clean. Let's check this lot, see if anyone has anything a bit broken. Yeah, get your lights sorted. I can't send you out without working lights. It's not very professional, really, is it? And then down over here, I'm assuming you're all good. Yeah, well, why not? I'll give you that last little dribble of fuel. What do you need? A wash by the look of it. You can go get some paint. Get some fuel in you. You need a repair. Oh, yep, get those two sorted. Yeah, you're all fixed up. So you can go get some fuel. How are you looking repair wise? Oh, a busted indicator. Let's get you in there. Oh, no free lifting pads. Everyone's broken. Well, we might as well clean you. We'll fix you later then. What do you need? You're all good. So go get some fuel in you. No gas station. No petrol station is free. Are you all good otherwise? Yeah. And you will get a cleaner out to you. Right, it's all looking good at the moment. We'll get this, this geezer painted up. Then we'll get the rest of the DLO5s all spick and span in just a moment. So here we are. Let's get it painted. Okay, as I once again give you the whole Matrix Revolution spinny winny camera approach going around. Okay, it's looking very fetching in our lime green. We've got any small stars across the back. There wasn't much room to fit them in, so we just put three little diddy ones down the bottom. But it's all good. It's all ready to go. So we'll apply this and we will get the rest of them through in just a moment. I think first you need to get a paint because you're pretty much ready to go. Any free gas stations yet? Yep, there we go. Get some diesel in you. And then we can get some more all sorted out. Is it? Hmm. Oh yeah, you're going for some going for some fuel. You need your indicator fixing. I'm assuming someone's got the indicator. Yep, there we go. That will be good. And over here, do you need anything? You look like you do. Yeah, like, do your tyres while we're at it. Oh, look at that, we've got a stinking bus coming back in. We'll have to remember to get, he get him cleaned up, but first, we'll get you all nice and green. And the next DLO5, which I think will you. Next willing victim, in you go. And we have one smelly bus to be cleaned up. Oh, look at that, just pulling out straight into him. What a maniac, you got a new bus here. Look after him. Does he need anything else? He's all fixed up, he just needs, needs a bit of painting. I was gonna try to hire some more stuff. But the one thing I had noticed while we were gone and I got distracted by getting these DLO fives ready, so as he comes in, I will get him painted. And then we'll come back and talk about this in just a second once he's backed in. Okay, so as he emerges in a puff of green smoke, straight into another one. Come on, be careful with them, my, my, my bus's drivers. Like, this is 
This isn't professional. So what I had noticed is we had another achievement. So we got a whole bunch more trophies. So we way well over the um, requirements here. And it's also given us a nice cash, a nice cash boost. I mean, we are making a whole crap ton of money. Like, look at that. Revenues are 226,000. Like, that's a big jump up the day before. So we're profiting nicely. Like, the money, money's coming in in buckets. But what it also means, is if we come across the loans, is we can start repaying some of these expensive ones. So I'll repay that one. And then the next most expensive one, I think, how much? You're, you are 918 euros a day repayment, and you're 850. I'll repay you. There we go. Which leaves us with a nice little bit of money in the bank. A nice, he nice, comfy little bit. We've got another bus driver. What is she saying? Good evening, bus. I just want to say that I'm extremely happy with the work here. I'm pleased to work for a company, and I hope for many more years of it. Glad to hear it. So let's get you in for the next bit of painting. And we are progressing quickly through. Oh, you need some fuel. Let's get that in you. Get you cleaned. I think we have a few more buses that just need to be washed and fueled and cleaned. That usual jazz. Oh, another stinker here. There we go. We've got a few of them who are nearly ready. You are about to be cleaned. And we've got a bus that's just gone in here. So we'll get him all painted up. DL Green. And we've got one more to go. It's always low, it's catching me out. But yeah, in you go for a quick paint job. There we go, all four of them painted up. Let's see if we have any more of these in the second hand area. Because a new route must. Oh! A knackered old clapped out DL05. 21700? You've taken it. That is nice. Any more over here? No, you just got the Intercity LEs. You're fairly cheap. And you're the only Intercity. So we'll put an offer in on you because I th think we're going to be needing a few more that's been accepted another DL05 you are not quite so clapped out we'll come back to you after painting up one of your fleet brothers so we'll apply that paint job and where did we park oh here he is trucking it in now he needs a lot of work Let's get them straight into the repair shop. Get in there. So we'll get all of those um, and a new router. In you go. And we should have another one rolling in. We should have a knackered, knackered up Intercity LE. Oh, here he is, pulling into the bay next door. Very handy of him. And he can just go into and get all of those patched up. Happy days. So they go in. There was another DL05 that popped up here. Not so knackered. So we won't. We'll give a good offer. Maybe we'll do. Twenty-eight, twenty-five, twenty-five, one hundred. Oh, I rejected it. What a shame. New route master. Why not? Well, no, that you're cheap. You're knackered as hell. Well, no, you're not that knackered. Got your wife and your oil that needs doing. We'll offer 1900. Seems like a good offer, and they've taken it. It's always nice. Here he is. What a lovely orange roof. You won't miss him in the dark. Let's see what other people need some extra work while we're coming through here. Just that usual cleaning. It's good to have an immaculate fleet. As long as they're all clean inside and fairly well maintained. I don't really mind. Do you need any fixing up, E? No, you're all good. So we'll just get you cleaned. 
Where's this one over here? There he is. Can't miss him with that orange roof. So it was an oil and a wiper chip. There we go. And as we're sending him over, we might as well get some replacement parts. Ready for the next load of buses that we buy. Which I'm sure won't be long till we get there. Because I've got a bit of a thing for buying buses, as you couldn't tell. Well, I suppose we are a bus company. We do need them. So the aim is to try and get all of these... Well, maintain all of these at a level of about nine. So that's what we're actually now. Oh, Grizzly, we're getting this in now. We nearly, well, we're out of quite a few things. Used up all our oil, used up all of our tyres. And we just need six of those. And we'll get that lot delivered in the morning. So we painted, 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 painted. Happy days. Get you in the wash. Get you in the fueling bay. And the rest of you are all pretty good. Oh, another new one's just arrived in over here. We'll get a cleaner out to you. You get some petrol, or some diesel probably. And same for you. Happy days. All very good. All very happy. I'm just going to just put, pop in a bit more street, so we'll be ready for when we need some more buses in a moment. And there we go, we'll just delete that last one there. Lots of medium bait, no, not there. Get him tucked up nice and neat compared to the others, and then we'll come back and carry on. All the way to the end. There we go, quickly thunk, 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 thunk. And a few down over here. So, that's all sorted. Let's get you cleaned up. Let's get you a little less stinky on the outside. Okay. Probably what I'm going to have to do is that this building over here is as full as he's going to go. So I can't decide whether or not we want to have a second office building in over here. Maybe we just do one that stretches along behind everyone over here. Have another little office building. That might be what I do. I have another office building over here so that everyone can... So if you're using the buses over here, you can be waiting around over here. Have a few cleaners. Share out where people are. Okay, get you in the wash. Yeah, why not? We'll get... We'll get building that already. Let me just pop a little... That's not ideal. It's annoying when it just deletes that one. Just, I'd rather if it didn't just get rid of that parking space. I want to put buses in there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Gone. And we'll pop that medium bay back in there. Lovely. And we go back to the corridors. Just put a nice door in the middle at the end. We'll probably need some more lockers at some point, won't we? We'll just pop a few of them just along this wall here. There we go. And the same corridor will run along the back over here. Done it again. <laughs> so annoying when it does that. So we once again just have to delete a, delete a square there. And then we can pop that bay back in. Hopefully we can keep it there this time. And then we'll just chuck in an office over here. Go on. Yes, he's actually staying where I want him to to start. And we will just drag him across a little bit of it. Can we get another row down here? That was, was what I was after. And that top corner too. A door there, and a door in over here, a couple of chairs, a little safer area, and somewhere nice and easy for them to sit and relax, waiting for my next buses for them to go out. Which, with the way I'm currently working them, 
isn't actually that long probably. I like I like having them out nice and quick. Just pop in a couple of clipboards on the wall. Pop one in behind there, yeah. And another one in over here. Ooh, we've got people coming in all directions. That's great. And the problem is we can now start getting some more drivers in. So how many cleaners do we have? We have six cleaners. 50 drivers. It's a nice round number, but I want a few more. So Nissa and Kimmy, welcome to the team. Cleaner wise, welcome to the team. Arlo. Oh look at you, Ernie. You're also very good. Mechanics are probably fine. So there we go. And while we're at it, yes. We'll give them some amenities that they might want over here too. If we come down. Kitchen. Put a longer kitchen in. And I'll pop a door in the middle. Door in the middle. And then we're going to have, where's it gone? Fridge down this end. If we rotate it round. We'll put three fridges in. We've got a lot of drivers. I'm sure they'll have a plenty of snacks and stuff that they want to store in there. Keep their pat lunches cool. And then we'll just pop in a sink and a unit behind over here. Another window, but oh, they've got two sinks. It's almost like this. I can't get any windows in this back, I think. Let's try it from this outside. Maybe we have a, maybe there's a public ordinance saying that I can't have windows up against the edge. Maybe, maybe people feel uncomfy. Maybe there's a school or something over here. Oh well, they just have to wash up against looking at the wall it's not very exciting we'll put a few vendors down the other end two sinks there we go and then we're going to do a bathroom which is just this one here that can go in next to it I might actually put two of these well, not. put one of these in here there we go but better use a tinted door for this one. There's the sink. And where the toilet? There he is. Let's rotate it till it fits. And then we'll just pop a bin in down the far corner. Where are bins? Oh, maybe you don't have bins and toilets in this world. I can put a Christmas tree in my bathroom. I can't put a waste paper basket. Just put a plant pot in. There we go. And if we come back to look at our office, it's a bit bare, it's a bit boring. I'll quickly see if I can get that sorted. not the most exciting office or like mess room for them but to be honest it's better than most of most mess rooms I had or canteens when I was a bus driver so they can just deal with it if I had to they can anyway as I get these last few buses sorted out I'll just quickly go through the rest of these and see what needs to be sorted out for tomorrow's shift before they all start piling out but this will be where I leave this episode. Nope. And I'll see you again in the next one. Until then, enjoy the rest of your evening or the rest of your day, wherever you are. All the best. Ciao for now.